Okay, so welcome to the Rural Project. My name's Chris. What I'm going to do now is just a quick review on this barrel stove, which I built and is on, on the build of it is on YouTube, and I'll add the link into this video. Built that, I think, 2017, um, and it's sort of been outside since, so I thought we'd do a quick, quick review, see what it's like. Most of the use for this has been really as a as a bit of a fire to burn a lot of rubbish that uh, that we get as we're working on the land it's been sat outside the whole time it's not really as a as a heat stove for inside although just recently got a shed so i do plan on moving it in there and getting a chimney coming out the roof but yeah as you can see i didn't i didn't paint it literally literally assembled it and uh, brought it out here and started using it and we also you know we camped quite a few nights here over the last few years and we've had it on when we've been camping very very good for uh, damping the fire down overnight so I'll close the grate up block the airflow going in close the damper to stop air up through the chimney and stop the draft there is a small hole in that damper you, when you do that this thing just goes down to a simmer mode and if I've had it full of wood it'll simmer for over two days so I've had that before I've come on a come on a Thursday got it going come back on the Sunday and um, yeah, it's still been hot inside hot enough that you just throw some wood in open the door and uh, and away it goes so as you can see it's it's pretty rusted there are a few areas now like this where you see that's actually started to you know it's, it's definitely rusted all the way through that's where a vast majority of the heat is when the uh, when the fire's going sucking up through that chimney so it's actually disconnected on on both sides now and we imagine as you get the wind blowing as well you get this thing rocking but you don't see any smoke coming out of there. Well, the back is all still pretty solid. And underneath is solid as well. But the underneath, I did pack, or put a layer, I should say, of, um, of sand at the bottom to protect the, the lower half of the barrel. The only thing that's happened with the actual door is, as you can see there, that, that pin has rusted all the way through. Um, and just just smashed you see when you look inside my, my coffee cups and all the rubbish but it's it certainly had a lot of use and uh, really happy with what I've, uh, what I've built here so looking at looking at this now and reassessing it I think if I'm going to move this into into the shed in future I think now's the time to, to do another rebuild don't really want that indoors I'm going to be sleeping in the shed with with that hole there plus if it's indoors I don't really want to go you know setting the fire and leaving it all day whilst it's in the shed and if anything does happen yeah you know, there's tools and equipment in there that I might get damaged so I think I will get another barrel and, and rebuild I'll look to see if I can get a, a thicker thicker skinned barrel one that's a bit uh, a bit thicker than this, I believe you, there is a heavy duty version of these barrels that you can get hold of. What I will do differently is I'll paint the outside. So the idea is I'll paint, paint the barrel red, the door will be painted black. And that'll, uh, that'll look quite nice inside. And obviously I'll just bring a, a single skin chimney up through the, through the tin roof of the shed. But yeah, that's that's it. Three years later, so it's, I've only just noticed noticed it, uh, it wearing through. I know when the fire was going last, you could actually see this area on both sides glowing, glowing on the night time. So it was definitely very hot there, and, and it had thinned off. But over the last couple of months, yeah, it's um, it's rusted through there. So, but yeah, for you know the, the components that you purchase, they're still fine. So the actual the, the flue there, the, the vent in the flue, that, that still works. Obviously the door, all I need to do there is just, is just knock out that pin. Obviously once I take this, take this apart it would be a lot easier, knock that pin out, 
re-drill the hole and I've simply put a bolt in there and that'll hold it in place. So the actual components that you purchase are absolutely fine. It's just a barrel that's worn out, which is pretty much a consumable item on these on these barrel stoves. So hopefully this review is useful. If it is, please give a thumbs up. Um, and if you like the content of this channel, please subscribe so you can see uh, more, more of the same. Okay, thanks for watching, wherever you are.